lot of talking. I want Jesse and Phil to talk more about this. So I'm just going to say real quick, I fucking loved it. Everything with Obi-Wan and Vader was exactly what I fucking wanted. I love the final battle. I love reducing Vader to shit. And I absolutely love the, the dialogue that they have where, you know, and there's time, like I've rewatched the final episode probably five or six times. And especially the clip of the final battle, at least two, three dozen times. Every time I watch it, I'm like, ah, they're going to patch it up. Here it is. One of them's going to, oh, wait, never mind. Because no, that doesn't happen. But every time I'm like, it's there. There it is. This is where it's going to happen. They're going to bury the hatchet. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, that doesn't happen. And it's, 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 Anakin Skywalker is one of the most fucking tragic characters like ever written. And what Obi-Wan series does so well is put that in your face to where you cannot ignore it when that helmet is damaged and you see anakin in there and he's talking i'm like i fucking feel so sorry for you i almost love you more than i do obi-wan at this point yeah. like because you know what happened mm -hmm. and you know it was a lie you know he's being used but you know he's mm -hmm. gone too far and he can't come back if he wanted to he can't because he's too far deep into it and he knows it and he knows he's being used and he's pissed off about that and he can't come back, even though you want him to. And, dude, when Obi-Wan starts crying, when he's apologizing to him, I'm just like, oh, my God. Like, it hits you in the field. Man, I tear up sometimes. It, it, that, that was incredible. That was everything I've ever wanted since I've had conscious memory watching Star Wars. I mean, I was born in 81, so at the end of the original trilogy. But I don't have a memory to where I wasn't watching these films. I've always wanted to see this and they fucking delivered on it. 